In the times of the Crusades, witness the untold journey of a shepherd boy this nine become a Templar knight and transcend into a legend. I can't Save wait. God with unyielding devotion. Uphold the tenets of our order, forged in the crucible of faith. I need to get a water ASAP. This room smells the disgusting. Path of rightness, guided by the light of divine purpose. Let not doubt cloud your spirit. Nor darkness deep your resolve. Remain steadfast, for the journey is long and fraught with peril. Remain steadfast, for the journey is long and fraught with peril. For in the crucible of doubt, we find the strength to persevere. Let faith be your shield and righteousness your sword. That was your first look at Bogdan's Cross, a grisly action-adventure game coming to Steam and the Epic Game Store. Be sure to add it to your wish list. Next, we've got a gameplay trailer for First Dwarf, a third-person action RPG where you build and defend bases on a crumbling fantasy planet. Every day in Britland feels like your first. Perhaps because each nightfall feels like it might be your last. So long. Now, now it's good. Now. It's also fine. One thing remains constant. Excuse Nothing me, meets no. the thrill of excitement a new sunrise brings. It's these moments that give that you the to venture out and explore the uncharted. Yo, did you shut, shut the fuck up, loser? Yet, true purpose is found in having a place you can call home. A place to nurture and care for. Even when you believe your task is complete, there's always another island to chase. Another place that'll make it all feel like it's the first time. I am a first dwarf. I suppose that's something that comes with the job title, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's all right. First dwarf is launching in early access on the twentieth of June. But if you can't wait till then, the developers just dropped the demo on Steam, so you can jump in right after the show. Now it's time to dive into the rain-slick world of Nobody Wants to Die, a cyberpunk detective thriller powered by Unreal Engine 5. What's it lagging? Hi, my name is Mihao from Critical Hit Games, and I'm the studio's community manager. And we are located in the beautiful medieval city of Wrocław in Poland. Right now, we are working on Nobody Wants to Die, it's a single-player interactive noir story set in a dystopian New York City. It's inspired by neo-noir films, black and white detective movies, art deco stylings, but set hundreds of years into the future. You will discover the world of New York in the year 2329, where immortality comes at a price that someone has to pay. Chat, is it? Is didn't Polish will make uh, Choosing the perfect some punk as well? music and composer for this game was so important. It allows players to feel truly immersed oh, in the world they have built. We're honored to Maybe be able Polish to work really like Sarepunky to create an incredible soundtrack for Nobody Wants to Die. Our small team of 20 has been working hard on Many this game Polish for the last four years. 
and our aim from the start was to deliver a great narrative and a graphical experience for players in our dystopian world. The music helps us to shape the emotion one plays to feel in each moment, setting the rhythm and atmosphere for New York 2329. Its melodic and moody I've been theme beautifully encapsulates the noir essence the of the game, setting the stage for an immersive experience like no other. We're so pleased Very that so many of you watched our There's review nothing trailer there. that we released a few months ago, and today we're excited for you to get a glimpse into some of <laughs> the guy's core settings, including Detective James Carr's apartment. What you're looking at here are exclusive in-game shots captured from our PC build. This is our vision of the future. You will experience the story of Nobody Wants to Die from a first-person perspective, through the eyes of Detective James Carr. Through our narrative, we wanted to explore the dangers of transhumanism and immortality. In a society where death is a distant memory, the lines of right and wrong start to get a bit blurry. We're planning to release Nobody Wants to Die later this year on Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 5, Dude, and This actually PC looks pretty Steam. impressive, to Thanks be honest. For watching, and enjoy the rest of the show. Nobody Wants to Die is coming later this year. What's next, Brit? Brit! Oh, no, please, no skits today, guys. Brit. Interesting. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna head backstage and see, uh, what's going on here. Is that Welcome to the world of Detective Dotson, Roger. It's an adventure game set in India where you use disguise and parkour to track down your father's killer. Sounds great. Um, one, one question, how do we get back to our human bodies? I'm not sure, but watching this new trailer can't hurt, right? Oh, cool art style though. Yeah, why do they move like it, like South Park? Yeah. <laughs> Terrence and Philip looking ass. That's what I saw too. Dude, they do the thing like. Detective Dotson is coming to PC in 2024, and the developers just launched a demo for the game on Steam, so you can dive in after the show. While you're there, why not add it to your wish lists? During this year's Spring Showcase, our host cracked open well, not the today, but... to watch your book, spotlighting three of the most hotly anticipated games coming in 2024. In keeping with that tradition, we've got another trio of games to share that should definitely be on your wish lists. First on our list is Once Human. Let's throw it over to the developers so they can tell you more about this new weird survival shooter. Oh, I might buy this. I don't want that. Hello, Medas. Welcome to the mysterious world of Once Human. I'm Derek, the head of operation of Once Human. Yesterday, we revealed that Once Human will launch on PC on the 9th of. July 2024. I'm very honored to introduce Westkillman to both new and old friends today and bring you more exclusive views. Westkillman is a post apocalyptic overworld survival game where we'll take out the role as a meta, striving to survive in a world corrupted by status and exploring the enigmatic now part continent. You must defend off outraged creatures alongside other metas, reclaim the old world, and uncover the truth behind the apocalypse. Many have labeled us as the most anticipated survival game of 2024, and I will tell you what makes West Game so you. Your adventure will unfold in a seamless overworld. Your adventures through trenches mountains, sandy beaches, foggy swamps, wild plains, rushing waterfalls, dark caverns, and mysterious underwater and frigid tundras. Your exploration will stretch the boundaries of your imagination, 
the diverse flora and fauna in the open world add more possibilities to your journey. Let's see what survival skills you've got. Hunting, fishing, and planting are all part of the experience. The influence of startups has led to widespread mutations across the continent. Stay cautious of the mutated deviants and the fanatical cultists, very key and strong, as well as the areas shrouded in deep fog and the riddle spots scattered across the land. As you may know, uh, what makes us different is our master design. In one's human, the enemies that you ever encountered are maybe be something that you've never seen before. Animal, a new species born from the influence of status, will pose one of your greatest threats. The Wanderer, a walking bug that roams the world with its searchlight, and the Vora, a monstrosity that resembles an excavator, are just a few to watch out for. In the future, you will encounter even more cryptic creatures in the skies above and the oceans below. Don't forget about the rift entities. Some of them are packing giant gatling guns, some look like massive trees, and others might even haunt your dreams. Back to luck, Metas. Did I mention that West Human might be one of the most diverse open world survival games out there? You must eliminate spreads in strongholds and dungeons for materials to craft your custom equipment. Plus, you can capture divisions from all over the world and use their special abilities to help you out. Rex is your chef. Nutcracker handles security and the Kana store is a bodyguard. You can build your settlement anywhere in the open world. Yeah, or even create this, another um... home. With over 4,000 metas in a server. Watch out for ambushes and looting remember to forge alliance with others to build settlements and get it on 12 versus 12 compass for real loot. And that's not all. What's human is committed to providing unique and constantly updated content for players all over the world. We also aim to cater different players' preferences. We've got seeing the seasons and all kinds of challenges rolling out soon. These include PvE world bosses and PvE contents that wait, encourage you to pillage and plan. But wait, there's more. We're also adding survival challenges where meta must compete for extremely scarce resources. The creativity of one's human doesn't stop there. You can unleash your imagination by building island, a truly unique internal land. Yeah, I agree. So I think it seems overly ambitious, to maybe. To your liking and even change the objective of the season. We create the world, and you bring it to life. Was well, Human for PC is coming your way on the 9th of July 2024, so don't forget to edit to your Steam wishlist. On the 10th of June, we'll kick off the final round of Open Beta of D. Don't miss out the exclusive cosmetics on the first day. Free dollars are now available, and you will want to miss the opportunity. Get ready to delve into the unknown. See you on the other side, Metas. Chat. Once human I think that was half AI, AI, right? But you can play the Steam demo when it drops on June 10th next week. And if you enjoyed that section, watch it out. It looked like a mix more. of like wants to watch deep dives. Real and AI. We've got another world premiere for you now. It's a co-op game where you have to synchronize your movements to succeed. Let's, Let's see, see it. it. Whoa, nice work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. We're off on a magical adventure. Uh, no, I've got a purple X. I have the purple X. I guess if you hit that. Oh, yeah, I press. Okay, can you move it across? Okay, and now send it all the way. Hey. Okay, I'll, I'll jump there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that opens a panel for me above the door. Okay, what does it say, please? So that's just, that's, 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 we were here, pretty much. And bear in mind, if I get this wrong, it's just everything the other way around, okay? Okay, I'll remember that. Yeah. Nice. I will hit I. that. Whoa, oh, it moved. Oh, very nice. Wish you'd stop doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you through there and you can have an explore. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Wait, no, just explore. Yeah, that's like we, we were here pretty much. In sync <laughs> is coming soon, so stick it on your wish lists. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Brit, but it looks like we're going back to back with world premieres. 
I think you might be right. We've fished another one out for you guys. And if you ask me, it's, whoa, kind of a prize catch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, yeah. I'm hilarious. <laughs> Peggy 12. I think I played this already on Mini Clipper. <laughs> Chat, what is it with bald people? It's like they, have, they want to revenge on the world. Chat. Why are bald people always plotting to kill or explode everybody? <laughs> Somebody said Bradley. Bradley. One of last year's most beloved indie games. When Dredge, the Iron Rig, launches on August 15th. You know, speaking of beloved indies, we are pleased to be launching our very own future game show, Humble Bundle. It features a curated selection of games that have appeared in our shows over the years. So, if you like what you see, head to the URL and name your price, and by doing so, you'll be supporting the developers and Humble's chosen charities. Back to the trailers now. In this next section, we're spotlighting... <laughs> Do you really want me to name a price? <laughs> Frag your friends with the help of roguelike upgrades in this fast-paced, genre-blending online shooter. Diabotical Rogue lets you pick between three specializations to cause carnage on the battlefield in hectic 4v4 matchups. It launched so when the game initially released, Steam it was really shit, but, um... June 4th, 2024. So, yep, you I'm, I'm kind of glad they made it a better, like, more hybrid game mode, for sure. What turns a person into a narcotic stealer? A dealer into a cartel boss? Find out in DDS2, an action-packed sim where you climb the criminal ladder and fight off the competition. Establish contracts, expand your hideout, and dude, move your dude, product in a dynamic They need to let these meme games be meme games. As well as co-op with up to three players. DDS2 is coming to PC on June 20th, 2024. Chad, these sim games, they're, they're just memes. Keep your eyes on but they're really side, good if you, like, funk, developer of breakout I just feel like trying to, trying to, like, up-level them is, is not the way to go, but... Like deck builder where you pilot a mech to defend humanity from an alien scourge. Players can customize their digital decks to take out the intergalactic invaders with eureka moment synergies. Star Vaders is coming soon to PC, and you can check out the demo on Steam after the show. Alright, maybe I'll do that. Step into the shoes of a plucky airship pilot in Clockwork Ambrosia, a steampunk metroidvania where the focus is on crafting rule-breaking weapons and armor. Explore gorgeous pixelated worlds to uncover the secrets of a missing civilization, enlisting curious companions and taking down Ch the Jetpack of Joyride Check out kinda the clears. Clockwork Ambrosia demo on Steam today. But that's my opinion. Turn foes into friends and search for your lost soulmate in Sword of the Necromancer Resurrection, a 3D remake of the 2021 action RPG from Grimorio of Games. A dungeon crawler steeped in mystery, players must level up, collect gear, and recruit fallen enemies to survive in atmospheric environments. Doesn't look that bad, to be honest. Fight past death and twist fate when Sword of the Necromancer Resurrection drops on PC and consoles later this year. Ah! 
Anton Blast is an explosive action platformer inspired. Oh, I think I had this game when I was young. It was in my cereal box set. And slide your way through surreal, destructible environments, wielding a mighty hammer to bash goons and topple the game's eclectic bosses. I'm, I'm just kidding, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm being a little boy. Switch and PC this November 12th. But there's a dynamite demo available right now on Steam. Find your new home on the galaxy's edge in Farlands, an intergalactic farming sim with a cozy pixel aesthetic. Wait, Chop this, I was about to say this is a game that Destiny would play, stars and the main character is Little Destiny. Your local star system from destruction. Farlands is launching in early access on July 24th, but there's a demo what the fuck? on Steam, so you can dive in right after the show. Three hits and you're out. Step into the ring in Big Boy Boxing, a slapstick boss rush adventure inspired by the Punch-Out series. Quirky opponents are brought to life by fluid animations as you bob, weave and jab your way through the clobbering ranks, learning attack patterns and upgrading your skills to succeed. Big Boy Boxing is coming soon, so make sure it's on your yeah, wishlists. Yeah, maybe not the same, but... We can, Remember, we can keep going, right? You can find all of today's games on our dedicated Future Games Show Steam page. Search for Future Game Show on Steam, and you can start digging into the demos and fleshing out your wish lists. Special delivery! Our friends at Billy Go Entertainment have sent us a new trailer. I think it's time for me to uh, invest and make games or a game. Simulator. Let's take a look. Hello, judicious viewer. At Billy Good Entertainment, we're strong believers in the old adage, art from adversity, which is why we've decided, completely of our own volition and <laughs> certainly not under any form of duress, uh, uh, to uh, commit to delivering our new video game, Parcel Core, this September 3rd. That's right, on September 3rd. You'll have the opportunity to assume your role in the gig economy, ensuring your board of directors can collect their annual dividends. You'll have to placate a colourful cast of business operators, from florists to medical professionals to leaven fried dough vendors to themed beverage sellers to uh... more themed beverage sellers, enabling you to avoid defaulting on your debts for another month. So, please help us. By wishlisting Parcel Core today. And remember, you'll find us in the streets on September 3rd, 2024. We're Chat. pleased to reveal that Parcel Core well, will be coming was to that the like, um, PlayStation August and Xbox 12, on September 3rd, 2036. You can also check out the demo, which just went live on Steam. Our next game is a <laughs> mind-blowing interdimensional platformer where that looked cool on Twitter. You know I'm not even gonna try to explain it. Just check this out. I don't know what I would make if I made a game. Dude, I would just fucking roll. I swear I could make dark and darker fun to play. I know it is, but it's really something. Dark and Darker is missing um, item depth and progression, I think. Screenbound is coming soon, so wishlist it on Steam. And if you think about it, Roger, that's technically two games for the price of one. It's a steal! Yeah. <laughs> Switching gears now, as we've got a trailer to share from our friends at Netflix. Here's a look at some of the new games coming to the platform later this year.
Dude, yeah, I swear to God, if I'm about to go play some games and somebody, guy, yeah, and somebody says, fine. hop on Netflix, dude, I might just get violent, to be honest. Resisting temptation will be hard for you. Wait, but you get the game for free? Oh, you know what then? You know what? I don't mind that. Whatever. If it's free shit, dude, fuck, fuck it. Thank you to Poggers. Netflix for sending over that trailer. We've got another world premiere for you now. Not bad. Not bad. This game lets you exploit a gang of unruly mercenaries for your own selfish gain. Oh, whoop him here, no way. Time to dazzle these idiots. Hey, my good townsfolk, have I got a story for you. I have tirelessly explored the wilds and found epic loot. I can kick any monster's ass, even the nastiest nightmares. I rip them apart. Even with facing death, I never give up. Why? Because I'm a hero, and I'm here to protect you. Oh, cut the crap. You're no hero. Obviously, they did all the fighting. You fighting? To gain XP? <laughs> Who needs XP when you're famous? Be bastards! Is this gonna be on Netflix or not? Then? Okay, now I'm not playing it then. Let the fools do your dirty work in Happy Bastards, which is coming soon. What's next, Brit? We're checking in with the Relic First Guardian, an apocalyptic souls like from Project Cloud Games. Not Netflix game. Oh, this looks kind of decent. Then. Looks a little bit uh, hack and slashy, but... Look bad, it just looks a little bit hacky smashy. The relic first guardian is a lot of effects and particles, but hey, it's... what have you got for us all the way over there? Probably Roger? One of the best so far, to be honest. Well, it's a nice problem to have, but we simply have too many games to show you, so we're going to throw it out to a series of back to back trailers and check in with you guys in a little bit. Works for me. Shall we uh, go grab a drink? That would not be disagreeable. <laughs> I hear you make a really good Cosmo Canyon. Oh, I'd love to whip one up for you. Yes, please. Nine to five, Max Win. Okay. 
yo. Did they call you my man Adam? Peggy 12. Looks pretty cool. Well, that reminds me of Halo somehow. If you know, you know. Don't talk to me. Level 6 then. Aware momento. Wait. I said Halo and I said, I said Deliver us home. It's, it's like the trailer from Halo. Deliver us hope. So the funny thing is... That's kind of a, that's kind of a crazy coincidence. The fuck? So he thought everyone was screaming about him going, Lily! The Deliver hope, I think. Yeah. Oh, you ever seen that before? Welcome back. Hi. Did you enjoy those trailers? Whatever. Good. Because there's more Dude, where that came from. This channel's nothing. It, with a new trailer for The Precinct. My advice, keep your head down. Don't piss off the chief. Stick to your beat, and maybe, just maybe, you'll get to retirement in one piece like me. You, stop there. Point dispatch. 10 aerial unit inbound. This doesn't even look bad. Central, be advised, suspect missed a spike. It's a little janky, but I mean... You him up. stop there. All right, kid, you did good today. I'll see you in the morning. That was the precinct, which is coming to PC places. Doesn't even look bad to be honest. Fox on August fifteenth, twenty twenty-four. If you like to try before you buy, then good news. Every game in this next section has a demo attached that you can play after the show. Days are coming. Any of you do it still breathing? All of them? My turn. <laughs> He'll feel that in his ganglion. First up is Motor Dew, a gnarly BMX roguelike that blends Tony Hawk's Pro Skater with Vampire Survivors. Oh, yeah. Next up is Angeline Era, a non-linear adventure game where you dodge traps and bump slash enemies to save an ancient world. Guys, I had to take something really important. Here's 10 dead dogs. And I missed it! A psychological horror game where you seek out an urban legend in the Appalachian wilderness. Sir it was a go it was a good next, a couch co-op party game where you wield wobbly pipes to manage the galaxy's most chaotic gas station. Design the future in Dystopica, a cozy cyberpunk city builder where you can create the metropolis of your dreams. You can't see anything. Either. Next in line is Gun Touchables, a co-op roguelite where teams of preppers repel an evolving mutant invasion. That looks kind of decent, no joke. This is Wild Bastards, a rootin' tootin' roguelike shooter where you manage a crew of intergalactic outlaws. And last but not least, this is Metal Suits, a run-and-gun space shooter starring a cyborg veteran out for revenge. That looks like Heli Attack on Mini Clipper. I love it. Heli, to Heli Attack 2 and he knows. Steam page to find all those demos and everything else featured in today's show. Fred, I've got someone I'd like you to meet. Goes by the name of Eugene McQuacklin. They're a private eye following the breadcrumbs of a foul salami scheme. 
a duck detective. Please, say no more. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. But I ain't no ugly duckling. Hi, I'm Johnny. And I'm Monica. And we're from Happy Broccoli Games. Right now we're working on Duck Detective The Secret Salami, where solving crime is no walk in the pond. You are a down on his luck detective who also happens to be a duck. I was a freshly divorced duck, not able to pay next month's rent. Use your powers of deduction to inspect evidence, fill in the blanks, and bust the case wide open in a narrative mystery adventure that's not quite as it seems. Everyone has a motive or a secret. Duck Detective is a two to three hour long mystery game that's in chat. Chat, 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 this is a quiz, chat. You're on the bus. The gold idol. And your phone only has battery for one more game. And of course, TFT or this game. Today, we're really excited to share with you that Duck Detective is coming to mobile later this year. Now, you can already play Duck Detective on Steam. Not bad, Switch. actually. Good response, chat. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. Duck Detective, the secret salami. Duck Detective, the secret salami is out now on PC and Nintendo Switch, with mobile ports coming later this year. This next trailer is for the RPG fans out there. Sacrifier is inspired by the 90s classics and features a soundtrack composed by Motui Sakuraba. Few are worthy of the title you are about to receive. The bishops are more than soldiers. This art is actually really good though. Guardians. Took them out court. The art's legit as fuck, eh? Enough! It is Ikio. The dome is under attack. You must retreat from our corner. Oh, RPG is a role-playing game. Coming to like no pixel RP Not available now me. on 5M available now available now on 5M Get what you deserve Damn it Where did the thief go? Give me the Malcora <laughs> That look a little bit goofy Dude, dude, I'm just saying it. Dodging, dodging linear attack like that in 3D with the with the perfect with like perspective top down, like it's it's tougher. Sacrifice. It's like Mario soon, Pepper. But the playtest just went live on Steam. If you want to try it out before launch, I feel like it's time we add another game to our yearbook, right, Britt? I think that's a good idea. You know what? More than a decade <laughs> later, we're finally getting a sequel to Warhammer 40K Space Marine. Space Marine 2 is landing in September, and here's everything you need to know about it. Nothing will survive our wrath. Chainswords at the ready, because Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 is staining the pages of our Wants to Watch yearbook with gallons of Xeno's blood. Space Marine 2 so I'm gonna an, order a bunch of these busters and start painting them in real life, Entertainment's 2011 third-person shooter. Helmed by Saber Interactive this time around, Space Marine Just 2 Just getting fucking nerd bitch at the fuck up. Get a job, you loser. ...three players across its galactic co-op campaign. You are dropped into the Jesus Christ, I'm not getting anybody by that. What Lieutenant the fuck? Demetrian Titus, voiced by Clive Standen of Vikings. Okay, I'm just kidding, Simon. It's fine. Port. The spores collapsed the bridge. Well, when, no when, was, when we're broke, we can afford this shit. The bridge. Let us show them some of Ultima's hospitality. There, there is a, my dad is a like girlfriend, and she had sons, 
and they were like really rich. Titus is a and when we go to their house, the emperor's to visit over, angel of death, and, and they had they all these like painted models or whatever. For defending the imperial, and he would flex Though on me, and I game, wanted to punch that motherfucker. I wanted to demotion. fucking knock that he piece of shit right, the right, dude. I wanted to knock him out, dude. Threatening mankind. Space Marine 2 will transport players to the front lines of the fourth tyrannic war, with hundreds of creatures coating the screen as you trudge through Last the Last night I sent up a, uh, a picture of, of, of my car and my house. Warriors, Hormagaunts, Gargoyles... He said, who is this? And I blocked him. ...much larger foes. You'll be overwhelmed in short order if you and your team don't keep your wits about you. The grisly combat blends over the shoulder shooting with a deep melee brawling system, allowing you to parry, dodge, pull off brutal I'm combos, and execute your enemies to top up armor supplies. You will pay, you rotten cowards! It doesn't look bad, to be honest. It's a metal maelstrom of chaotic conflict, and we're excited to see what Titus and the gang will face up against when the game launches later this year. Space Marine 2 is coming to PlayStation. It's one of those things that if you're into it and you like all the, all the toys so and, and the painting and the whatever, on the wealth of like this series, they really try hard to give the people what they want. Uh, I, I, I respect that. Adventure. I'm not into it, so whatever. The people that are into it, though, they get some stuff, yeah. Oh, they're not toys, oh, but hey, boo fucking who, bro. The little, the little plastic Warhammer you paint, that's a toy. Game, Space Marine 2 is coming to PC, PlayStation, up. and Xbox on September 9th, 2024. We still have one <laughs> to more game to book, so keep an eye out. Before we get to that, though, how about another world premiere? Yeah. Okay. But, you know, I have to admit, this is a bit of a wild one. I think it needs a Wrangler's touch. Just give me a second. Oh, uh, not goats whoa, again, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. You're all right. You're, you're all right. Get, stop. stop it. Stop it. Oh, you, ah. Uh, oh, just one second. Peggy 12. Yeah, ain't that something? All right, man. That was all right. Go toe to toe with Capybara Thanos in Multiverse of Nonsense, a brand new DLC pack for Goat Simulator 3. It's coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on the 19th of June, and you can wish list it now on Steam. By the way, if you're enjoying the show, you can let us know. Head to the link on screen now and fill in the survey to be in with the chance of winning some great prizes courtesy of MSI. All right, time for something completely different. This year, Finally. the Future Games Show is launching a new initiative to help increase the visibility of up-and-coming indie games. We've oh. created a video submission form so that game makers from around the world can pitch their projects to the show in a snappy 45 The best show. way to, to market your now. indie game studio Think of it is by making elevator a desirable product. In months, we'll share the submissions on social media and highlight them during our live shows. To give you an idea of what we're looking for, the FGS team handpicked some of the most anticipated indie games 
and ask the developers to create their own elevator pitches. And here's what they come up with. Welcome to the world of Schim. My name is Ewout, I'm one of the developers of the game, and I'm responsible for the programming and art. In Schim, you jump from shadow to shadow. You play as a little shadow creature that goes separate from the person. And now it's up to you to find your way back. This is kinda cool, be honest. Along the way, you will also help other Schim that have lost their objects. We will release a place in here for this. This be nice for sure. Then a switch and steam. Get ready to hop around. It just makes me feel lonely looking at it. Hi, I'm Kurt Olson, the creator of the upcoming stealth comedy game World's Worst Handyman. I'm also a father of three with a full time day job. Five years ago, I taught myself to code and make games in my spare time. Later, I founded Baby Lumberjack Studio. World's Worst Handyman combines my love for stealth horror games with the charm of Nintendo games. It's a thrilling, stealth comedy game for all ages. You play as Doug, an unskilled handyman trying to save his local animal shelter from bankruptcy. Find tools, complete tasks, avoid angry residents, and earn enough money to save the shelter. World's Worst Handyman releases this September. Play the free demo and wishlist the game on Steam to support our small team. Thanks. Well, then. Judo That's is good. a stop That's motion action adventure like game that. set in a mystical historic Scotland. We are a dedicated and passionate two-man team making a truly independent game without compromise. In Judoro, you will explore a world full of eccentric stories and handcrafted Jesus, animals. bro. This is what happens when you hit the spice a little bit too hard. Uh. You will overcome challenges with Judoro's combat and possession mechanics. Our favorite part is perhaps the varied and sometimes grotesque bosses the game is replete with. Judero is coming out this autumn on Steam. Please wishlist and help spread the word. Thank you. Hey, future game show. Those guys over there are Heavy Lunch Studio, and they've known each other for, like, I don't know, a hundred years? And in an act of hubris and self-delusion, they decided to make their first video game, Hermit and Pig. It's an adventure RPG about a reclusive old man and his truffle-hunting pig. These two unlikely heroes get drawn into a dangerous conspiracy involving evil That's corporations, just usually violent animals, hungry townspeople, cultist weirdos, and a giant mythical mushroom. You'll have to dig deep and ask yourself important questions like, can I master the self-defense techniques necessary to survive? Can I overcome my social anxiety to become a hero? And should I really eat every mushroom I find? You can find these answers and more in Hermit and Pig. <laughs> the demo is available on Steam now. Thank you to the talented developers who helped us launch this brand new section. Make sure you wish list Judero, Hermit and Pig, World's Worst Handyman, and Skim on Steam. And if you're a game maker who wants to participate in the indie elevator pitch, you can find out more using the link on screen right now. Show us what you got. Back to our regular Too lazy for that. Now, which in this case means another world premiere. <laughs> This one's a stealth strategy adventure game set in an oppressive cityscape. In this game, overcome being a walking loser. <laughs> I know that you're worried about the war on the continent. But you are my people. And you will come That's what I did. You can do it too, bro. There's no one in any trouble. We just want to talk to him. You told me you wanted out. You and your brother. You said you're done with this. It's too dangerous. Not what you wanted. Find her. She's near somewhere. I respected your decision because I thought you respected. Dude, the art is actually and good. Then. And everything I've done for you. This isn't about me. Oh, it's always about you, Hannah. And now you've brought the police here. And actually, impressive. Home. Jesus. I have no idea what he's done, man. I don't care. I just got to find him before they do. Dude, that actually looks stellar. It's only a matter of time. I'm not gonna play it, but still, huh? You've set things in motion you don't understand, Hannah. Let's 
QC happy stroking it's Saturday. I hope it's a good one. I love you. Thank you, ma'am. Eric's home, the stolen dream, is coming soon to PC and consoles. What's next, Roger? Well, here's a closer look at Run From Mummies, a cooperative dungeon crawler where you play a group of plucky tourists dodging traps to photograph ancient relics. So, is that you heard game? about the tour? Four months. Can I get a welcome to the, the tour? From the game? Well, the sights are unforgettable. Do that. with dangers. Anyone else the in place right now? Bring your friends. The graphics of all these games were the Jesus Christ. Uh, I might just sell my Nvidia stocks, but we don't need that shit. Uh. I bought a 4090 for this. So, Why can't we on a fucking Radeon fucking fucking 1020? <laughs> I can run Bro, you can run into with on board. Run from Mummies is coming to PC and PS5 in fall 2024, and you can play the demo on Steam after the show. Up next, Case we've got a Souls-like side-scroller set in a dark fantasy world. Here's the latest update on Mandragora. A Souls-like side-scroller, just like what was it? What was it last time? Was it Noita or whatever? Hi everyone, Alex here, Community Marketing Manager at Primal Games Studio. I don't remember what was the name of the game. We're currently working on our most ambitious game to date, Mandragora. Blasphemous. Mandragora yeah, no, it is it a 2.5D action RPG side-scroller with deep Metroidvania and Souls-like elements. You know what? It, it didn't look that bad, actually. We're fine-tuning the many features that will be available in the game, including epic boss fights and a branching talent tree. Inquisitor. Got supplies you know what? It, it actually looks pretty well put together. Uh, I can't even hate it. What you did to that witch, XQCL 35 it's all we've got to spare. Get a welcome to the jungle less than three. In the full release, expect to find yourself immersed in a narrative... As long as your game looks cohesive, I don't get it if I'm not gonna play it, I'm not gonna hate on it. ...work on Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Meet many characters, all voiced by professional voice actors, including Aisha Salim, known for her work on Overwatch, and find yourself whisked away into the world of Mandragora, with a dark fantasy soundtrack composed by Christos Antonio, best known for his work as a member of Sectic Flesh. Overwatch, huh? Overwatch used to be so good. Overwatch was my dream. 2024 is going to be a big year for us, as we work towards releasing later this year, alongside our new publishing partner, Knight's Peak. We look forward Billion to bringing... Billion Dollar Company Blizzard sold me on the Overwatch League dream. Enjoy playing. Your passenger is lost. So is this world. I need to sell. I put it all on the line for that man. Sure, it's nice. I can't believe it's coming to PC and consoles later this year. We're taking a look at Dustborn now. Red Thread Games Road Trip Adventure. Here's the latest trailer. They've got their lights on. They're after us! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get Calm down. down. I wish Take a deep breath, Sai. Let's pull us. over. We can handle the police. Pax, maybe put the cargo in a safe place? Handle the police how, exactly? You know what well, it's a girl. people like us. Sai, please listen to me. Says the woman who never listens to anyone! 
Is it? We're so dead. Stop the car. We'll handle the cops. Roll down your window. Huh? What? The window. The window. Oh, wait. Twenty-five months, Pac-Man. This has to be the most inclusive car like ever. Hey. Hello. Hi, officer. What's going on? The sounds game. <laughs> I'll need you people to step out of the vehicle. You're a loser. How badly did you screw up to get here? Highway patrol in the middle of What a weird cis fine. white male cop. Yikes. Try to mess with my head. Is he going to shoot them? Exit the vehicle. Hey, uh, uh officer, walk out the road into the Yeah, deserved. Road. Jesus, fuck! Ay, Dios mío. Drive, drive, Sai, now. Lose a POV. Stop him. <laughs> that was fucked up. I wonder if he had time to pull it in before. Back. <laughs> Dustborn is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August twentieth. 2024. 38 months. All right, wish list at the, the ready, jungle, folks, because we've got a sweep of exciting trailers coming up next. Unban me on kick PLS mods at XQCEZ. Is there built-in delay? This is a lag in the game. <laughs> 44 months. Do you believe in manifestation, Felix? Love you, excuse me. I know it's certain based on us. This is a TV. of civilization and progress become one of our esteemed engineers and let the illumination of our chat. great leader I thought, that, I thought I did chat guide you no Today joke though is your day join our what's nvidia like and pulls up with the next series of gpus prove your worth and ascent there isn't much that you can't load anymore technologies what then and then she says i'll be fine you've seen how much ass i can kind of capped out ah, damn that's so true Oh, you're back. Let's keep up the pace and jump straight into our next trailer. So I never, ever, ever lag on GPU uh, uh, intensive games with a 4090. Once they go to the next one and that's affordable, what's the next thing? Games aren't advancing that much on, on how the Venom is on the, on the GPU. Most of them going to be CPU bottom like anyway. No. Never mind. Then the bubble bursts away. Oh, better AI. Yeah, you're right. As well as Got great friends. I didn't want to do it, but he made me do it. Chat FPS is rude. Don't say that. It's FPM. You have to quantify those games in FPM. Mata is a suburban survival horror game from Deadbolt Interactive. It's coming to PC and consoles in 2024. 
Our next game takes influence from Hotline Miami. 44. Fuses Japanese mythology with contemporary hip hop. Feast your eyes on Sono Kuni. <laughs> Yeah, this is like Sick Man, remember Sick Man? Sick Man Arena? <laughs> and it restarts. Sono Kuni is a top-down action game from the Don Yasa crew, a hip-hop group from Japan that decided to make their own indie game. It's coming soon to PC, but for now, you can wish this it on Steam. Eternal Strands is up next, an action game where you use magic, XQC weapons, and climbing skills to take down enormous monsters. Here's the latest trailer. <laughs> So after all the legends, this is it. The Enclave. Brynn, you need to get out of there. Now! I was made for this, Aurea. A lemon loaf! Weavers have known about this safe zone in the Vale's shadow for decades. No one's been this close in years. My hope is that we're going to find artifacts from the Enclave so itself good. deeper into the shadow. You is can count really on me. Good game coming? I look decent then. With no milk, the milk is dropping up. Try this with water. This place holds mysteries beyond our wildest dreams. It's time to uncover them. Chocolate with water? Better than chocolate with milk. Trust me, try it. Eternal Strands is coming soon, but if you're eager for more, we'll be airing an interview with the developers during our official push show, the Future Games Show Expansion Pack. The Expansion Pack airs directly after the Summer Nobody Showcase, asked. so stick around for XQC a closer look at today's L. games and some extra world premieres. Lord. For this next section, the FGS team handpicked some of the most XQC exciting Unreal L. Engine 5 projects to provide an eye-popping glimpse into the future. Let's check it out! If I think if I get the dog, block one to Ooh. Oh, come on, bro. This, uh, this sounds like some, a sub for lullaby from Minecraft. Maybe I'm damn about to cry. Are you excited for August 12th, 2036? You said what? XQCL. Big W. 
Sorry, I have to I have to accept my hold on. Okay, give me ten seconds. Yeah, chill, bro, chill, 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 hold on. Thank you to the developers who Done. participated in our Unreal Engine 5 showcase. Be sure to follow them on social media to keep up with these projects as they evolve. Now, as we all know, the only good bug is a dead bug. And there's been plenty of Grounded. virtual control going on this year. But how about some no, man. Up next, we have a juicy update on Starship Troopers Extermination. What? Hi, I'm Peter Maurice. I'm the project lead for Starship Troopers Extermination. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the exciting new update coming to the game called Carnage on Planet X11. Well, it looks like he's AI. The Carnage system itself oh, is basically persistent here. bug bodies everywhere in the world. They don't go away. We're bringing the movie into the video game. Being able to climb on top of the bug piles to get the best vantage point over the bugs. It's a system that we've developed in-house from the ground up. It's really all about bringing carnage and the war to the bugs and being able to show the persistent damage throughout the world. I'm so excited to share with the community. Planet X-11 is deep within the Tybanus system in the arachnid quarantine zone. We're setting this planet within the rings of a gas giant. It's draped in mystery. We are going there to defend the T-Fang array. It's the most important listing post in the Federation and is crucial to Federation operations <laughs> that we secure it. From Planet X-11 is our first attempt in Starship Troopers to combine indoor chat, combat chat. What about a, what about a union for gamers? Planet X-11 we take five indie games of bad games and we force them together to make one good game. We point something we've really been excited to finally bring into the game. We've added our five bad products. games or one and good game. The point on the bug is where you can easily take down a bug if you know how to aim with the right hard weapon. Seven, we point seven, adding some more seven, nuance hard, and more depth seven, into gunplay, hard. and that's what we points are allowing us to do. Working on Starship Troopers Extermination has been a dream come true for me. It's something that I really enjoy coming and working on every day. Being able to bring those movie moments into a video what game category? for the rest of the world to experience has been so much fun. Yo, yo, come on, man. Come on, man. Are, are you fucking kidding me? In Starship Troopers <sighs> Extermination, which is available now on Steam. Motherfucker. Following up on that bombshell, with our third and final yearbook edition. Let's throw it over to Supermassive Games and Behavior Interactive for a deep dive into the casting of Frank Stone. XQCL. From the minds behind Dead by Daylight and the Dark Pictures Anthology, please welcome the casting of Frank Stone into our future game show Wants to Watch Yearbook. This single-player horror adventure lets you define your own story in the expanded world of the iconic action horror game Dead by Daylight. Players follow an ensemble of intrepid young filmmakers as they set out to film their own home movie at a murder site. I might be playing Phil Don Remastered yet, but. Prepare to be posed with fate changing choices, challenging puzzles, and death defying QTEs as you guide the cast through eerie environments and shocking twists. Does look bad, to be honest. Along the, way. the casting of Frank Stone is coming to PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC in 2024. And to give you a closer look at this exciting collaboration, 
let's throw it over to our friends at Behaviour Interactive and Supermassive Games. For the longest time on Dead by Daylight, we knew that we wanted to offer different types of experience to our players. And okay. a single player wow, narrative experience is definitely... Why don't they, they redo Dead by Daylight entirely from the ground up? So obviously... It's a good game, but it's just so shit these days in comparison. Four 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 is the perfect partner so to deliver right. that fantastic Tuesday. horror experience. The casting of Frank Stone is a classic, supermassive cinematic adventure game. Wait, I'm coming with you. It's an unashamed horror experience. Like Overwatch 2. It's a story that we've been thinking around for quite a long time, and it really fits the omniverse idea that underpins a lot of the Dead by Daylight lore, and so it kind of slipped together as a very natural fit. It all starts with our 1963 oh, it's story booming right now. It's booming. which is investigation of a missing child, which leads us into a very dark, so quite grisly serial killer horror story. But as the story unfolds from there, things go in different directions, and we bring in a lot of different. What I do? Subgenres. A, a of medieval. No, 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 no. To the boy you're a primitive. For. The main influences were always survival. Domestic, Looter shooter. I actually believe happens. Something that you can understand, relate to. At the same time, part of it you don't understand, and it creates a, a, a mystery. And we're always going back to the classic slasher or movies and characters that we learn to love and hate uh, at the same time. What? One thing we Primitive, really like rocks. quickly was the idea a dungeon, of you find how rocks. a piece of creative art Sticks. could become a vehicle for Extract horror. Extract them home. And in our case, that's a super eight Make film a spear. That's been made by a group of teenage characters on the site of an infamous series. You build your hideout. Times. Stone that oven. Felt like a vehicle where we could bring in other influences of horror that we bandage. Really Either of you heard Poison of Murder Man? Right of the start of the project talking with Supermassive. An extraction we shooter. Connected. But because we're passionate about the past. Horror, and we basically get our inspiration from the same sources. So it was great talking with them and seeing that a lot of the sources for inspiration they're using have been the same that we've been looking into at the genesis of Dead by Daylight. So in that sense, our fans and also new players that will experience this no, can see like that dark and darker are from the same lineage. So for fans of supermassive games that still haven't stepped into the fog of Dead by Daylight, this is going to be a great first step. Come on, people! We got a movie to make! That's a lot of yapping, but hey, as in, I respect it. The casting of Frank Stone is coming later this year. And with that, We've wrapped up our ones to watch yearbook for the summer showcase. Go team! It also Minus means we're closing in on the months. end of the show. Can I have my or doesn't mean that we're done with the back? world premieres. Please. Here's one more. One more, chat. I love treasures. It's Hi. nice to have someone else do the dirty work for you. And only <laughs> that annoying mongoose always ruins everything. Nicodini. You and your friends can't oh, chat. stop me. <laughs> it's not to go, but if it's furries instead. Are you fucking kidding me?
Clicky. Yeah, well, the party don't stop. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I can't wait to play this game. Nico De Rico is an all new mascot platformer from developer Via Games <laughs> as part of the new publishing label Night's Peak. The which Fall was of the West, as guys said. It's coming soon to PC and consoles. You might have seen our next game before. It blew up on social media for its hyper realistic you graphics. Silly Here's the latest trailer for Body Cam. <sighs> This isn't actually good, it's just missing a little bit of depth and a little bit of pacing on the rounds and some sort of uh, different like um, win conditions or speed up thing because waiting because one guy's camped in a fucking corner for like fucking 10 minutes is not it. Wow, all these games look amazing, gonna heave to dust off my Nintendo. Dude, get an, an extraction shooter like that? Guys, I think extraction shooters go harder. I don't give a fuck, yeah. I think if somebody puts enough effort into, uh, into a new extraction shooter, it goes massive. Because everybody's half-assing them. Chat, everybody's half-assing them. Everybody is. You know, you know I'm right about this. Stop. Body cam is out now on Steam, so go check it out. All right. It's time for our final trailer. I'm over here and stroking my dick. I got lotion on this my dick right now. I'm just stroking my world shit. I'm here. But as fuck man, I'm before we wrap things like. up, I have one small question. There's for more you cheaters in EFT than in CSGO. Eric Chill out, bro. Um, that's, uh, uh, that's interesting. I, I feel like that's kind of a loaded question in this scenario. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just, it's just a hypothetical. You Tifa? Know? There's, no, there's no wrong answers. <laughs> okay. Well, you see, that's really interesting, you know. It's, it's uh, taking you a long time to answer this. Well, if I had to choose between Tifa and Aerith, I think I would have to go with... That was a quick taste of what's to come from Woodrunner Games, an indie studio featuring developers who worked on Cuphead and Rick and Morty. The game's full reveal is expected later this year. Which would coincide with the next future game show. Chat. Next. <laughs> next. Fred, I hate to say goodbye, but that's a wrap on the Summer Showcase. Oh, man. You know what, though? I'm just glad we got to do this together. We were outlaws to the end. Damn right we were. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the stage with me. And cheers to all of you guys for tuning in. But don't leave just yet, cowboy. Because we've got the post show coming up right after this with more trailers and deep dives on the way. There'll also be tons of follow up content on gamesradar.com and Skip. our FGS social channels on YouTube. Marauders could have been the best game to ever release. But the game has like 12 items total. PR like, what? Everyone across the games industry who worked with us to make this summer showcase a reality. Even in such turbulent times, we couldn't have done it without you. Don't forget to head to the Future Game Show Steam page to find the AIs were all buggy. And check out the um, we hackers, glitches, no quests or items or like anything interesting. A, a lot of things don't make run. sense balance wise. And, and this, this has, has been the Future, Future Game Show Summer, Summer Showcase 2024. 2024. <laughs> Great job. Holy! Holy, hold on, hold on now. Hey, right, let me finish it up. Chat, and he restarts it. Hello, friends, and welcome to the few. I'm good.